Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, like I said, uh, until your children expires, you must continue to provide the dividends of democracy to your people. My channel will expire on the 29th of May, 2023. Therefore, we will continue to make our people happy. We will continue to provide those uh, infrastructure that will have positive impacts in their lives and try to thrive economic activities in the state. Of course, you are aware that tomorrow, the 28th of um, uh, February, the governor of Bauchi State, I'm sure you have arrived, you flag off the 10th flyover, which uh, this 10th flyover is not as if we are warning them for 2015, no. This 10th flyover we are warning from 2019. We have finished six. The sixth one will be commissioned on Tuesday, the first of March, and the seventh and eighth of March will be commissioned by the first week of April. And tomorrow we are flagging off the tenth of November. Um, of course, people have called my attention severally about traffic uh, problem, traffic jam in some of the areas in Port Harcourt and other urban metropolis. And one of those areas is the Rumoku Town Bola Ikwe Road. And then where NTA Junction going to NTA Zoba area and then coming this way to Boba and taking the other George Road. So for me, it, it has to, we have to go and visit and see for ourselves with the firm Jonas Beggar to look at how it will be more convenient and uh, ease of traffic for the people. So the essence of going to those two areas today is to see how the 11th and 12th uh, 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 flavors, how it will take place so that it will not cause some lot of uh, traffic problems. And I know uh, so many people will wonder <laughs> what kind of uh, project a man is leaving office within the next few months and yet it's, 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 it can never stop until the day we are leaving office and like i said all these projects must be completed before we leave and, and that is what we have done today so i'm very glad that uh, the third flyover will be flagged off tomorrow and has a 10 month period that just began to start and finish we have paid them 75 percent offers to 80 percent so they have no excuses of not uh, completing this third flyover. I didn't know it makes us happy. From 2019 to 2022, we have awarded 10 flyovers. Six have been completed. Three will be completed in April this year. What a track record. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So I can, I can what get like it. Well, a legacy of a prosperous river state. A legacy that we have brought back the state to what it used to be. A legacy that is a united river state, irrespective. You know, the river state is one of the states that have a lot of ethnic uh, nationalities. And uh, we have tried to show that all of us are one perspective of the language we speak on the spread of our culture. So I still want that united diversity irrespective of where you come from. And that is what have uh, what we have uh, tried to let our people know. And see the support we get, see the cooperation we get. So and leave the legacy that tomorrow anybody coming will not distort or try to scatter the unity we have created as far as all the ethnic groups are concerned. It's key. Peace is key. When there's no peace, you cannot achieve any development. So legacy of peace that will usher in development, that is what we are doing. And that is what we think by the grace of God will achieve. Okay, Your Excellency, yesterday we witnessed a number of very wrong and by elections in some states that uh, flat to give over to the right across the country. What's 
Frankly speaking, I'm so elated. And let me start by commending uh, the former governor of Plato State, Jonathan, and uh, former governorship candidate and former FCT uh, minister, uh, General Seni. Uh, when I came to speak to them about the peace, about the unity of the party, uh, my happiness is that it has yielded. The effort has yielded effort by winning the last by election that was conducted yesterday in Plateau State. You see, like I followed to everybody, it's not about presidency, it's about how the party will be united and make impact, even for anybody to win that presidency. So what Jonah Chang and Usaini and their things have done yesterday, I'm so impressed. And I thank them. And I said, nothing can be that. Nothing. You see, when you work as a people, as a party, first of all, I've said, party first. Party first. Before any other thing, party first. The same thing, I'll commend the people of Boston last year. Yes, uh, my expectation was they were going to take the two seats. Unfortunately, we lost the federal house, but we won the state constituency. But what it made it potent is that if all of us come together, if all of us look PDP first, you will see that we can take over this government in 2023. It is not about me. It's not about you. It's about our country. It's about our party. So I commend Le Le I commend Doradu. I commend the three senators, the chairman and the candidates. Yes, I, with me, I was uh, followed up what was happening in the federal year life, federal constituency. That was election that was won. But look at the violence that was unleashed by the, the, the APC government in Plasma. But it's okay. We have known their modus operandi. We have done what they are pl what they are planning in 2023. But above all, I thank God Almighty and I recommend them. I commend the PDP customer for sharing a good fight and uh, winning the state constituency, even though they lost the federal constituency. Uh, we want to go back to the drawing board and they make amends. And I commend them. I also commend the people of Old State, uh, Dr. Bibiko, former governor, and um, Jegede, who was a former governor candidate. You see, they loved what they want on the budget, 2,070 votes. So, it means that even though they are not in power, you can see what they did. What happened in that case was the Minister of Data Data, uh, Minister of State Data Data, what he did, he did. Those votes came from his community. And that is why we want to say, Anak is, uh, is, 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 is showing some more commitments. I want to commend you. And let me see. Uh, with the election of uh, Ekiti and uh, Oshu with the signing to law by Mr. President. I will have the election, the results were transmitted electronically. And they're using the, the smart card here to determine over voting. Let me see how uh, Ekiti and Oshu. Uh, it, is, it will be a test case. And these are two test cases that uh, Nigerians are waiting to see how actually we can uh, rely on the electoral act. But by and large, I commend the PDP family for sharing the good fight in these areas. I commend them uh, for what they have shown. It means that there's hope for us. The leaders in Crossover, the leaders in the Plateau, the leaders in Odo, I commend them. And they should not uh, relent. Uh, as far as we are concerned, in the party, we will do everything we can to keep them on the necessary support. And that's what the people requires now. So that unity to come together is key. So would you say is that cross pull of uh, unity and sacrifice which uh, you believe which yes. in yes. the Yes. Would you say that has been that, that, that has Of course, the unity I've been preaching has yielded results. Unlike now, where everybody was on zone. But if you if you see sincerely, when I went to Plateau State, what I told Governor Jarrett, I mean, uh, General Jarrett, former governor, what I told him, was to say, look, I cannot come to you and tell you different things. I'm going to Jarrett and tell him different things. I will look into your eyes and tell them, General, I think you are wrong here. Governor Jarrett, I think you are right here, or you are wrong here. See, the problem with our people 
is the inability to be able to tell people the simple truth. Why they don't do that is because of what they want to get from, the, from various parties. You want to be a president? I don't want to talk so that Jerry uh, uh, will not be angry with me. I don't want to talk so that uh, John will not be For Christ's sake, nobody was going to be a president. You, your party must be one for you to be whatever you want to do. I can tell them, General John, you are wrong. General Sedu, you are wrong. They are my fathers, but I owe them that duty. And I owe my party that responsibility. That is the only way. And look at the result we have gotten today. It's because of that preach for unity. And that's what I would say. Okay, let's look at the corner of the election. Uh, the election was marked by violence uh, in Prospera and uh, in Imo, where uh, election officials were, uh, and both the election materials were affected. So, how, what's your reaction to this, and how will you assess either this problem? Well, you know, the, the electoral act was just uh, recently amended. And so this election was conducted on the old electoral uh, act. Let us uh, see the, the elections in uh, AKT and Ocean, uh, how I make with my friend, using this electoral uh, act as a test case for us. So it is very key. And so, uh, but for what I've seen overall, I think ANEC is, is committed to making improvements day by day. Uh, we cannot, comparatively, you can see, yes, in spite of the uh, violence and list of people, police being involved and this and that, but there's still hope. Yes, I believe that there's still hope for improvement. Based on the electoral act uh, amendment by the President and the commitment that ANEC has shown, yes. Okay, we're talking about uh, the transmission of uh, election reports, electronic transmission of uh, results. Uh, one, uh, the Bar model voters accreditation system, uh, there were challenges with the machine. Uh, yes. I have told you those things would be correct. I next say they are task, there is a, it's a test run. It's a test run. So you can't, oh no, take for example in America. Sometimes the machines fail. What is important, having identified as said, is there any improvement you are making? Day by day, day by day. In any way, in a number of happen, they improve. So it's for us to encourage them to see how they can get the best. Because in that case, you have a larger uh, election, which will be general election in 2023. So you have to make sure that you, having tested all this, you go back. So said, look, we have just said this. These are the problems we have found out. How do we improve? We go to the, to the providers. How do we improve on this? I think uh, we don't need to worry. I know uh, this might not be enough years to assess your performance as a candidate. But uh, is this a point that you better days to come for your party? Well, everybody knows, it's not a question of a point, Nigerians are not happy with the ruling party. It's, it's for us to put our hands together and, uh, and take over the government by 2023. It's, it's, it's really a point, you see, the truth of the matter. If it is based on performance, APC knows they cannot, they cannot talk about winning election again, forget about the propaganda, they cannot. I would say for gone, but it's just, but you can't also take over if you are not prepared by being united. Okay, your party, the PDP party, how united are you currently? Well, I have told you, there's no family, all families that want your uh, problem or the other. That's why I went to Latu, I went to Kosovo. I look at the results it has been there. So you, you, we are building up to put up everybody together. That's the point I'm making. Uh, what's your take on this, uh, these people who have come out so early? What is important that everybody who is a member of a political party that does his ambition has the right to say this ambition. You cannot stop anybody's ambition. Uh, until when 
if you even win the party, it says they are zoned to so so play. You must also have some uh, renegades uh, who will say no, they will not obey. So it's, the, it's the human nature. So uh, declaring the interest is a fundamental right to express uh, your intention to fight for the position of the highest office in the country. So there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, you don't have your no party convention yet, but uh, the former Vice President of uh, Nigeria, the former party bearer of your party, Atikwa Brota, has come out to say that uh, he will win the ticket anytime he's like, he has always won the ticket. Well, how would you react to this? Well, it's unfortunate, uh, frankly speaking, uh, because I was busy in monitoring some of the elections that were taking place in some of the states, uh, somebody sent me uh, the video when uh, the Waziri Adamawa, the former vice president and former presidential candidate of our party, listed uh, one of our leaders in the country, uh, former president, Chief uh, Olishegu Obasanjo. And when he came out, uh, he was appeared uh, to have said he had always uh, won the ticket or uh, got the ticket of the party. Um, I didn't believe he said so, but when I watched it, I watched it and, uh, and then played it all over and what that I said. What I expected was that about what I've said that uh, uh, I'm hopeful. And if you say I'm hopeful that I will win, and I believe that the politician he wants to give confidence to your supporters so that they can continue to move on. But when you say you always take the ticket of the party, what it tells me is that maybe, yes, as you know, there are those who say they are founding fathers of the party, which is uh, like a company, they are shareholders of the company. And uh, like the vice president, he appears to be the chairman of the shareholders of the, of the, of the company. In this case, the chairman of the founding fathers of the PDP. We are employees. We, they, they employed us, and we are working for them. And we have no problem about that. If we uh, are founding fathers, and they will not always take the majority, they will take the, the profits and whatever. So, uh, so be it. Uh, but uh, I didn't expect him, frankly speaking, to make that kind of statement that you will always take the ticket of the party. That is too far. I'm going too far at taking uh, the, the, the delegates for granted, and uh, I don't. I, I I think that when he left, he was uh, for me. I believe very well, very intelligent man, very uh, good strategist, and a reasonable person. Uh, like any other person can make a mistake in when you addressing the public. So I believe he may have realized that that such a statement may not have been may, may not have gone too well amongst the PDP people, so that's why people are sending uh, the video, oh, I will always get the ticket, it's a uh, new program. Uh, and uh, for me, you know, the problem I have, uh, people say, why do you want to speak out? And I think, I don't know, it's a problem for me, I cannot sit down and see where something is going wrong, and uh, nobody wants to say something. I, I, I don't feel comfortable about it, I don't feel comfortable. And moreover, in a family, and that can destroy a family. And I said, no, uh, you can't take the delegate for granted that uh, you will always. No, that would be unfair. That would be unfair. And uh, I think, well, uh, that's his own view. And uh, let's watch and see what happens uh, as we go to the convention. And uh, let's watch and see. Uh, then, uh, too many people who are here will come back. We will all look at it. But uh, all I've said is for the interest of the party, I. Anything that will make it to win the election, that's what I will support. But I will not be, I will not be, you know, try to be boxed up for one reason or another. Nobody can use uh, propaganda or intimidation to tell me that and change my views. No, it's not going to happen. But people should watch. Uh, it will be shock. I find a PDP convention person. The people should watch. Uh, we should watch what is going to happen. Uh, it's, it's, you know, people like to direct so many people. And it's, it's not good in politics. Uh, watch what is going to happen. What people uh, think it may not be at the end of the day. May not be. But whoever, 
that emerges of all the aspirants. We will rather than the person and make sure that uh, he be wins uh, 2023. And when you say let's watch out for what's going to happen, it's a typical work of catching the counting his hands before he starts. <laughs> like I, I've told you here, I said what well, he said he will always win people. So he's sure. He's sure of it. I think he's a founding father. In fact, uh, as a founding father, a bill of state is like I'm chairman of the shareholders of the other of, of this company called PDP now, for example. And so I take the first shot if anybody. I take the majority, I the, you know, all kinds of things. Like I said, everybody should come down. Let's work for the party. But people will be shocked on how this convention will go. People will be shocked. People will be shocked. <laughs> so I will not tell everybody, just pray to God, uh, do the best you can do. But nobody shall arrogate to himself or accept the, that uh, power that uh, we don't always think that, oh, because it was like yesterday, therefore it will be like that today, or therefore it will be like that tomorrow. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. But first of all, talk about the unity of the party. Talking about the unity of the party, of the party, of the party. Uh, is Cummins capable of uh, causing this affection in the unity? No, it will not cause any disaffection. Rather, it will make us to come together the more. I mean, it will change out the ball. You know, it doesn't should not be a problem. No matter what that time to do, some people will feel it. In fact, that will make him to lose some support because uh, because some people will think that, oh, you are taking it for granted. Oh, because you are one before, you got not to win. It doesn't matter uh, whatever that happens, you know? So that's the way I look at it. It's not that it's going to bring any disaffection amongst us in the party. Okay, can I We are not abiding party. The, the party will soon meet, uh, the neck will meet, and then the circle will soon find the way forward. How do we uh, put our house in order to make sure we religiously follow the timetable of uh, IBEC? Religiously follow the timetable without uh, violating uh, any provisions of the law and the guidelines that IBEC they have uh, produced. So, this is not the first time where, where the party, the National Working Committee, is their duty. I'm sure they will have a chairman and his team who are up and doing, uh, making sure that uh, things are right. So, yes, it, is, it may be too tight, but uh, it's where it is tough, you know, who are men, who men are. So, I think that they will come out of it. Talking about Nigeria, is your party capable of providing the real change Nigerians are getting? If you ask yourself, what is the real change? Take for example, let's start from my state. As a people, as a government, with what we have done in the state, what else do citizens want? Basic infrastructure, security. What else do we want? When people talk about agriculture, how do you talk about agriculture when they have no security? Who will go to the farm when they are killing them up and down? From what we have done in River State and other states of PDP, does that not show you that PDP has the capacity to make Nigeria better than look? Yes. And whether you like it or not, you can't compare this government to what PDP used to be, or what, uh, compared to the PDP government in those days. No. We may not have done the best, but comparatively, no, it is, there's no basis. Right from 1999, look at the basic legacies that were, were, were achieved. So, whether PDP is prepared to give us, I think we are very much prepared, very, very much prepared. If there are mistakes the party have made before, we are willing to point them. And see what this party has done for the last six, seven years. There's no basis of even having them think or, or trying to, 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 to forgive them, to give them an opportunity. That is slavery. 
and Muslims are to definitely be fully prepared to have a church, to make a church. The assurances we are giving to Nigeria because from what has happened now and that we know that Nigerians are in worse for it. Look at what the previous states are doing. If the previous states are not per compare, that tells you, look, we think that this party is serious. We think the party's party has realized the mistake they have made before. You couldn't have realized this if the states are not doing well. That's the point one. Because you will say, how do we think that you can do better if you come to the nation? Now when you can see the performances of the governors at the state level, that tells you the party has sat down and said, look, we must make sure Nigerians get the best. We must let Nigeria know that this party, called the APC, never did well. And the only way Nigeria will say they didn't do well is by us providing those things Nigerians, that will make Nigerians happy. Take, for example, when people came and said PDP and National Level were not doing well, they put APC. Now they have seen that it's a failure. They're not comparing. So it, everything is comparative analysis. And I can assure you, by the time that PDP presents they are candidates in the national election. You will not be. Uh, it, it, it will be easy for you to know that really PDP means uh, business, not just talking. 